Hello and welcome to JustComparedCars.com. My name is James and today I'm going to be doing a walk around video of this 2015 Nissan Navara Outlaw. It's a V6, uh, which means it's a 3 litre diesel engine. And this particular vehicle's done 63,000 miles. It's got full service history and it's got a, uh, MOT until April 2020. These walk around videos are um, basically in depth videos of the vehicle to save you travelling, to ensure that obviously you know exactly what it is you're coming to look at before you travel. Um, or obviously alternatively if you're happy with what you see on the video um, we can deliver the vehicle for you as well if you do need finance we can do that for you as well please just ask uh, one of the members of the team all our contact details are at the end uh, the idea of the walk around video is that we will basically go around every panel um, i shall show you the wheels and tires i'll show you in the back i'll show you in the vehicle under the bonnet uh, and also show you under the car as well um, obviously again if you feel like i've missed something or if you want to see something else in detail please send us a message or contact details out at the end. So I'll start with the bonnet. Um, hopefully, as you can see, it's, it's really clean. Um, I can't see any dents on it at all. I can't see any marks or scratches on it at all either. <coughs> and work our way around to the front bumper. There's nothing I can see. There's a little tiny mark here. A little tiny rub mark. That's serious. Um, Work my way across the front wing. There again, it's the same. Uh, passenger side front wheel. Um, it's got a very, very good tyre on it. I don't know. It's not far off now. I'm not sure if they're matching tyres. I'll go around and we'll have a look at them. So let's work our way down the side of the truck. Can't see any dints on it. There's no obvious marks or scratches. It's obviously got the side steps as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, rear quarter. Very clean. Um, rear wheel. As you can see, it's very tidy. It is a matching tie, it's got the same amount of tread. Maybe six or seven mil. Around to the rear. Chrome bumpers. Got a tow bar. And the rear door is very clean. And this one has got a reversing camera which is there. And it's also got a roll and lock as well. It's one of the better ones as well, it's metal, it's a really sturdy, not easy to break into at all, offers you a lot more security on your vehicle. Um, inside the back, as you can see it's tidy and it's clean, no nasty burn marks or anything. It's obviously had a really easy life, which is nice to see. Um, if you can just notice that near the tow bar, there's a little bit of a chunk missing out from the plastic. It's just done its job basically. Um, let's look down the side. So the uh, driver's side rear quarter, really clean. Driver's side rear wheel and tyre. Got a little bit of a rub mark here. Just serious. Um, tyre, matching tyre again. Tyre proxy. And it's matching tread as you can see. Work our way down the side. We'll do the same as the other side. We'll do two passes so we've got a really good idea of what it's like. And again, there's no marks or dents on it at all, as I can see. Nothing sticking out anyway. Yeah, nice and clean. Let's have a quick look on the roof. Obviously, this one's got a sunroof because it's an outlaw. the uh, roof racks one. And then finally, on the body panels, the driver's side front wing. The mark there, is it muck? No, it's muck, that's gone. And then front wheel and tyre. So just to confirm, it has got a full set of matching Toyo proxies all round, and they are all the same, I would say six or seven mil. Approximately. Let's have a quick look inside. 
obviously it's the outlaw so therefore it's got all the options you know it's electric windows electric seats leather um, sunroof cruise control pretty much you name it it's got it um, I can tell you um, it smells really nice inside I'm an ex smoker uh, for my sins so I always pick up on nasty nifts especially if smoke smells visible so that's quite nice especially if you're obviously if you're a smoker if you're not a smoker, then that's good. Um, down here, near your right knee, is your uh, mirror controls. You can fold your mirrors in if you want to as well. And then down here, you can see that. That's where your bonnet is, your bonnet control. Um, on your steering wheel, on the right hand side is your cruise control. On your left hand side is your uh, media centre and stereo. Just take the keys out. Uh, there are two keys, just start it up. As you can hear, it fired up straight away, no problem, purrs away perfectly. Um, switch that off. So, uh, media centre, and then obviously it's got the usual stuff. So it's got uh, heated front seats. Um, you've got your stability control, and then you've got your switchable four-wheel drive system here. Um, you can switch that on the fly, although to be honest, I wouldn't really recommend that. You may as well just stop and just switch it over. Um, it's got dual, cl uh, dual zone climate control, it's got air conditioning. Um, these have got hard disk drives as well, so there's nothing that's stored on that anyway. But you put your CDs in, it'll ask you if you want to save them, it saves them onto your hard drive. You take your CDs out, and you don't have to have them again basically. Um, it's got a nav system, it's got touch screen, or you can press the button. Um, Arguably one of the best nav systems in any of these uh, four-wheel drive systems, basically. Um, I, I like the fact that you, if you're going slightly over the speed limit and there's a camera coming up, it will tell you to slow down, which is nice. Um, it's got a reversing camera as well, which I showed you earlier on. As you can see, the camera is really clear. Again, one of the best, really, to be honest with you. Um, the actual seats, bolsters are nice and tight and firm. As you can see, the seats are good. Same in the back as well. Uh, what else to show you in here? Uh, nothing really, I don't think. So, switch that off and I'll show you under the bonnet. Those keys there. Let's pop the bonnet. Oh, this one's got um, the additional Bowser as well. So, it's got Bowser speakers all around. And it should have a subwoofer in the boot. Yeah, it has. So, it's got the Bowser sub as well. Nice extras, and they do sound really good as well. I've just propped the bonnet up. So obviously it's the Nissan V6 engine, which is, it's a lot of engine. It's a lot of engine. Create loads of torque, and the torque figures are great. They're even quite good on fuel, which is even better. Um, Hopefully, as you can see, um, underneath the plastics, it is exceptionally clean. Basically the same as everything else on the vehicle. Right, so let's have a quick look underneath it. Hopefully it's not too dark. It is a bit dark, unfortunately. But hopefully you can see from that, it's nice and dry. There's no rust or anything on it either. Okay, so um, hopefully that's answered all the questions that you could potentially want to answer, ask. Ask, <laughs> get my words out. Obviously, like I said to you earlier, on, if you've got any questions now, obviously, please give us a shout. If you're happy with what you see and you just want to go for it, um, a small deposit will secure it and we can deliver it for you as well at a small cost, um, based basically on the mileage away from us uh, and us obviously getting a driver out to you. Um, thanks for your time. Bye bye.